Sandy who's making his eighth start this year that surpasses his total from the shortened 2020 season but a 295 ERA this year 298 over his last 14 with Leo and two to Tyrone Taylor. Wow what a pitch from Sandy gets a strikeout and works a one two three first measures in place a very thoughtful gesture from the Marlins. Oh there's no question about it. This one grounded to the right side Diaz spins they get one and they get two. The pitcher Brett Anderson running may have given Miggy just enough time to flip that double play. Well nicely done by Sandy. It was a good pitch to Anderson. He was way out in front of it. Daniel Vogelback leads off. Go back. Bounced out his first time up. Hits a rocket down the right field line. It is gone. Daniel Vogelback, a frozen rope out of here. His third home run. And the Brewers have a one to nothing lead on a rocket to right. Boy, that had some hit speed on it. How about that? A 97 mile an hour fastball in on his hands, and he's able to turn it around. Not just that, but keep it fair. Out to center field. Brinson in his tracks. Sandy needs to make the pitch and does. Leaves him loaded, but the Vogelback homer gives the Brewers a one nothing lead. Mentioning Cabrera on Friday passed Babe Ruth on the hits list. Of course, Marlins fans recall his first hit. That's knocked down by Wong, and Rojas is aboard. Now, first hit of the ball game for Rojas. Second quality at bat. One ball, one strike, and a pick at first. Out at first. That's what he's got. You could tell. I don't know if he was itching to run or something. An indication to the dugout and a little over anxious. And for the second time today, a Brewer pitcher picks off a runner at first base. Yeah, Brett Anderson picked off Dickerson. That's a good move by Lauer to erase the base runner. Two outs, nobody on. Three defenders right side. Outfield not too deep. The pitch swung on and missed. Sandy with a strikeout and back to back one two three innings. Sandy Alcantara is out there to face the Brewers here in the seventh. Pitch is swung on and missed and that's it for Urias. A strikeout for Sandy. One to nothing Brewers here. Teams even in hits five aside. Here's the one and two and that's over. Strike three called and Kane doesn't like the call but the inning is over for the Brewers. And Maley is left at second base. Princeton's looking for his third hit. Had an infield hit in the second. Singled out into left in the fourth inning. Princeton, left center field, puts a charge into it. Oh, it's off the top of the wall. That's a home run for Lewis Princeton, and this game is tied. Have yourself a day, sweet Lou. Welcome back to the lineup. My goodness. Now we have continued to talk throughout the homestand. You know, some directional hitting with Sweet Lou. Pointing up to the Sweets. Mom is here. That is awesome. Marlins and Brewers hooked up in a dandy 1 1 game. And the Brewers have their closer on the mound, Josh Hader. 1 2 pitch. Got him. A sweeper, a breaking ball. Anderson strikes out. Hader with his first K. 1 and 2 the count. Ninth inning. And he got him. Chased a breaking ball. Maley blocks it well. Puts the tag on him to secure it. Made it with a couple of K's. We go to extra innings. Put a man on second. Vogelback will be sent to first base. You're going to be careful with Vogelback and leave it up to Tyrone Taylor, the right handed batter. Anything hits the outfield grass, he'll score. That ball's in the air. Left field down into the gap. Reyes on his way around. He will score. Tyrone Taylor delivers in the clutch. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you walk a guy in front of you. Two to one Brewers as Taylor comes through. Rasmussen a save opportunity for the first time in the big leagues. A 25 year old. And it's a first pitch slider right off the end of the bat. Wong is there. Throw to first. Ball game. Drew Rasmussen with his first career professional save. And the Brewers win on Mother's Day.